Hello everyone. Let's have a look at this question here. This question says that there is a butterfly which is sitting on the ground and it measures the angle of elevation to the nearby building to be 60 degrees. Then it flies and it reaches the terrace and then it finds out that the angle of elevation to the top of the nearby building reduces to 30 degrees. Now we are given if the height of the terrace is 20 meters then we have to calculate the height of the nearby building. So let's first visualize this question. Now we are given that there is a butterfly which is sitting on the ground and it measures the angle of elevation to the top of the nearby building to be 60 degrees. So we can say that in this right angle triangle ABC angle A will be 60 degrees. Then it flies to the top of the terrace and then it again measures the angle of elevation to the top of the nearby building and it finds out that it has reduced to 30 degrees. So this time angle D of triangle DEC will be equals to 30 degrees. Then we are given that the height of this terrace of this building is 20 meters. And we have to calculate this height of this nearby building. Now again you can see that we have got two right angle triangles ABC and DEC. And in these two right angle triangles we have to find out this distance BC which is height of the nearby building. Now let's say that the height of the nearby building is H. So the height of terrace which is the distance BE is given to be 20 meters. So we will say that EC distance will be equals to H minus 20 meters. Now if you observe these two triangles, you will find out that their base length is same. This AB length is equals to this DE length. So we can say that their base length is same and if we can express the unknowns in terms of bases of these two triangles and then equate these bases we can get the value of unknowns. So let's apply trigonometric ratios to calculate AB and DE one by one and then equate AB and DE to get the value of unknown. So let's apply trigonometric ratios in triangle ABC first. So in triangle ABC we are given that opposite length is H and we have to find the adjacent. So we can apply TOA tan is opposite upon adjacent and we can get the value of adjacent. So tan of 60 degrees is equals to opposite upon adjacent. Opposite is BC and adjacent is AB. Just put the values of 1060 from the table it will be root 3. So this will be implied root 3 is equals to BC we has taken H and AB is the common side. So AB will be equals to H by root 3. We are just cross multiplying. Again, we can apply the trigonometric ratios in triangle DEC. Again, we have to find the value of H minus 20 in terms of this common side. So we have to apply 2 R again. So tan of 30 degrees will be equals to this time this will be EC upon DE. So put the values of 1030 from the table. This is 1 by root 3. So 1 by root 3 is equals to EC is H minus 20 upon DE. So we can find the value of DE from here. Just cross multiply. This root 3 will go in the numerator. So this will be root 3 h minus 20 and now we know that the base of these two right angle triangles is 
same or we can say that the base length is same DE is equals to AB. So just equate these two values. So we can write down that DE is equals to AB just put the values of DE and AB. This is root 3 H minus 20 is equals to H by root 3. Just cross multiply root 3 into root 3 will become 3. So this will be equals to 3 H minus 20 is equals to H. Just solve this. So this will be 3 H minus 60 equals to h put this h in the left hand side and take 60 on the right hand side we'll get 3h minus h is equals to 60 now if we solve this this will be 2h is equals to 60 or we can say h is equals to 30 meters so this will be h is equals to 30 meters so all we have done here is we had applied the similar steps here first we had drawn the triangles and then we had converted the unknowns in terms of common side of the triangle then we had equated the common side length to find the value of unknown which comes out to be 30 meters here.